Scheduling policies is where the work rules and the service objectives come together. When you install the package, you will find that there are several default service scheduling policies available for you out of the box. Look at these as your best practice scheduling policies and start your configurations by relying on these standard policies available. For example, if we look at the customer first scheduling policy, there's a short description on what this policy is all about, and we always recommend to put a particular description as it will allow other team members in your organization to understand the meaning and the intention of the particular scheduling policy used. You will see that it has two sections, the scheduling policy work rules, and down below, the scheduling policy objectives. In an essence, the scheduling policy tells the system which rules to enforce, which objectives to consider, and with what waiting. In the customer first scheduling policy, we're taking into consideration four objectives we would like to optimize for. Note on the right hand side the different weights assigned to each service objectives. These are not one out of ten, but rather relative to one another. And you can see that scheduling as soon as possible and selecting the preferred service resource are marked with the weights of four. These are the most important objectives to take into consideration when you want to put your customer service levels at, as a top priority. Minimize travel, followed by resource priority, also need to take into consideration, however, at a lower weight. Scheduling policies allow you to combine work rules and service objectives into scenario-specific behavior of the system.